Hello everyone, this is Dr. Abhinav. So in this video today, we will be discussing about the most expected topics for the upcoming INICT exam, INICT 2022. These, these topics are not only important for INICT, but they are also equally important for the upcoming NEET PG exam. Basically, I have uh, made the important topics from core 5 subjects. This is because most of the questions are being asked from these subjects. Usually, uh, when we are writing NEET exam for 300 marks, uh, at least 30 questions would have been asked from each subject, Medicine, Surgery, Obscaini and PSM. So, I have uh, concentrated the more on these, topic, these uh, subjects and the important topics from these subjects. Plus, I have also given topics from Pediatrics and uh, other bonus topics as well. Before we start, uh, I would like to introduce you to my new ebook. So that is for the NICT and NEET PG preparations. This ebook has uh, all these important topics with answers. So there are almost around 90 to 100 topics, most important topics with answers provided in uh, tabular form, po uh, points format, uh, more kind of. Uh, very easy to learn and remember and I've also made uh, many high yield uh, points of diagnosing diseases with symptoms because most of the questions are case based and the classic findings also have uh, incorporated in this book like classic finding uh, in the labor laboratories in the physical exam points of to which disease those kind of things so this uh, Learning these topics is very very crucial because you might have already learned other subjects so your, your rank will be decided on how well you learn the important topics so this uh, book I have especially made for that purpose so this book uh, will cost around 399 rupees but if you have already purchased uh, our UPSC CMS A to Z uh, ebook you can get this ebook for just 99 rupees so if you are interested then you can uh, click the link that I have added in the description for uh, getting this book now uh, before we start uh, as usual if you haven't subscribed to your channel please do subscribe and uh, you can also join our telegram group the link is in description and if you need the ebook the link is in description as well so to start with medicine topics from cardiology these uh, four important topics that I've added this is, that is pulse and JVP waves heart murmurs uh, CAD coronary artery disease management and uh, cardiomyopathies so most of the questions from cardiology are being asked from these topics so I've added these topics as uh, important from this uh, uh, cardiology point of view and for neurology stroke localization and syndromes the brain stem syndromes those uh, questions are very important parkinson disease and uh, how do you diagnose different types of headaches and uh, different types of dementias those are very important from respiratory system the gina and gold guidelines for asthma and copd and uh, the usual uh, pulmonary tuberculosis and uh, pleural effusion so in pleural effusion uh, know about the lights criteria and which are transudative which are exudative all those things are very very important then coming to GIT malabsorption syndromes are uh, extremely extremely important because most of the questions in the recent exam contain at least uh, one or two questions from these topics liver cirrhosis and uh, SAAG SAC calculation that is important hepatitis as always is very very important mostly hepatitis B and C from nephro point of view pre-renal and uh, renal labs how to di uh, differentiate uh, pre-renal injury versus renal injury then acute kidney injury uh, chronic kidney disease then uh, management of hyperkalemia is important for uh, endocrine men syndromes differentiating each, each syndrome is important hypothyroidism and uh, its management is important diabetes mellitus its management complication all those things are important from the miscellaneous point of view HIV and AIDS is a very very important topic uh, usually you get at least two to three questions in each paper from this topic 
then vasculitis the different types of vasculitis and the uh, important syndromes for important symptoms for each type of vasculitis by which you can identify it those things are very important all these things i have uh, listed out in the ebook with answers sle antibodies iron deficiency anemia and uh, hemolytic anemias from pediatrics point of view uh, the growth milestones is very very important because uh, uh, you can be asked like uh, in which age does the child does this or they can give that uh, the child is doing these things so what is the age of the child those kind of questions are commonly asked and uh, malnutrition breastfeeding normal newborn uh, finding seen in normal newborn neonatal resuscitation neural tube defects seizures meningitis croup epiglottitis pneumonia vsd and asd pyloric stenosis uti these things are very very important from surgery topics general surgery shock and types post op fever uh, which day causes uh, the post op fever causes and the day associated with it achalasia cardia peptic ulcer disease complications variceal bleeds shunts acute pancreatitis colorectal cancer syndromes thyroid cancers neuroendocrine tumors mastectomy surgeries ductal papilloma and duct ectasia chest trauma head trauma hernia important points bph turp turp syndrome salivary glands and the salivary gland tumor stones burgess disease now these things are very very important from surgical topics for uh, obstetrics and gynecology i have clumped it together so you will have to know the postpartum hemorrhage step wise management uh pregnancy induced hypertension and eclampsia management ectopic pregnancy how do you manage a ruptured how do you manage the uh, unruptured types of abortions and how do you identify them and uh, pcos cervical cancers and staging contraceptives no all types of contraceptives amenorrhea evaluation mostly the secondary amenorrhea evaluation infertility and uh, gestational tr- uh, trophoblastic neoplasms molar pregnancy physiological changes seen in uh, pregnancy apas syndrome antiphospholipid syndrome ovarian cancers and uh, the types of ovarian cancers and the significant finding in each type twin pregnancies in psm if you see you need to know about the types of studies the cohort case control study uh, the immunization schedule health indicators indian healthcare system nutritional requirements vitamins and uh, program for blindness disaster management defo- demographic cycle vector borne diseases sensitivity versus specificity mean median mode types of preventions primary secondary tertiary international health agencies and uh, most importantly uh, you need to know the formulas in the psm or at least the formulas that i have mentioned in the important topics you need to know them because uh, you might be asked and uh, also try to so all questions in your mind itself because sometimes uh, you will not have uh, the luxury of using a paper and pen in the examination hall other important topics these are very important because uh, i have clumped all the rest of the 14 subjects topics in one uh, slide so you need to know the cranial nerves and uh, what symptoms can be seen in each cranial nerve and from anesthesia vaporizers and iv cannulas physiology nerve fibers classification necrosis types and examples vector rickets cell disease types and uh, causative agents vectors glycogen storage disease lysosomal storage disease chromosome numbers and its disorders genetic inheritance patterns and uh, examples for it which diseases are autosomal dominant which are recessive anti glaucoma drugs anti dyslipidemics more on the newer types of anti dyslipidemics hematology drugs important ene ent disorders important apta disorders that i have given already in this book and uh, helminth eggs the how are each uh, egg, how can you differentiate one egg from the another and important antidotes important ortho topics and uh, sexually transmitted diseases so all these consist of uh, almost 90 to 100 topics plus i have also added some additional topics in the book as well so 
make sure you know all these topics by heart if you already have your notes you can uh, study from it if not uh, you can use this ebook and uh, i've given answers for each of this topic and uh, that will be enough for that topic for rest of the topics you will have to go to your notes and uh, read about it mostly you need to know how to uh, come to a diagnosis so on that point of view also i have uh, added points for uh, each topic and uh, also as mentioned be before the classical findings seen in each uh, topic you can uh, use those things to diagnose it easily and uh, then you just you'll have to solve the question that's all from my side for uh, this exam if you like this video uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, you can also uh, comment what do you think about this book if you have purchased it and uh, if you need you can get it in the link that i have tagged in the description so that's all thank you all the best